Have you ever heard of spinal decompression? It's a well-known approach to treating back pain and leg pain, but it's traditionally been missing a crucial component that could significantly speed up recovery from chronic spinal conditions like L4-5 disc bulge, L5-S1 disc herniations, lumbar spinal stenosis, spinal lysis, sciatica, and especially degenerative disc disease. That missing piece is the power of laser therapy. And not just any laser, but rather the highest and most effective laser allowable. In this video, I'm going to dive into this revolutionary method of non-surgical robotic laser spiral decompression, which combines two scientifically validated treatments to offer faster, safer, and more effective relief for chronic back, chronic neck, and leg pain sufferers. Not only am I going to explain how non-surgical robotic laser spiral decompression works and why it's so effective, I'm also going to share with you three case studies of patients who've experienced remarkable health improvements even though they thought they had tried everything and they had given up hope. You'll see how we've helped someone with lumbar disc herniations, someone with degenerative disc disease, someone with lumbar spinal stenosis, and someone with spinal lysis. Please be sure to watch to the end. And as a bonus, I'll give you free access to my health vault. It's a collection of videos that get delivered to you each week with trusted health knowledge that will be of benefit to you. Non-surgical robotic laser spinal decompression is so unique that there are only 12 clinics worldwide and ours is the only one in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. We serve our nation's capital, including Ottawa and its surrounding areas, and we also serve the South Outaouais region of Western Quebec. Hi, I'm Dr. John Zalanka. I'm a neurofunctional chiropractor in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I've been doing this for over 30 years now. I'm the author of 10 books, including my latest groundbreaking book, Low Back Pain Is Not A Life Sentence. I'm the founder of National Health Day in Canada, and I'm very honored to say we've been voted Ottawa's best 15 times, as well as having been nominated for two Lifetime Achievement Awards. I've had the privilege to work with some of the world's best athletes. My YouTube channel focuses on helping those who've been suffering with debilitating chronic back and neck pain. Before I dive into today's video, I need you to smash the subscribe button if you want to learn more tips and strategies on how to treat and relieve debilitating back and neck pain without drugs, without surgery. Please tell me in the comments that you subscribe and I'll personally reply back to you. Now, before I describe what non-surgical robotic laser spinal decompression is all about and how it works, it's crucial to understand one of the primary reasons why many treatments for chronic spinal conditions such as surgery, physical therapy, medication, injections, exercise, even chiropractic, often fall short, it's because the root cause of the spinal issue isn't always fully identified. And in most cases, it's not just one cause, it's causes, it's multiple causes, often more than one cause. For example, someone may have been told that they have an L4 or 5 disc bulge uh, as their main cause of their back pain and their leg pain, but they may not have been told that they also have an anterior lysis or spinal stenosis or a significant spinal misalignment or degenerative disc disease. You cannot have a full and speedy recovery if you don't discover all of the actual underlying issues and address all of those underlying issues of your spine condition. If you don't even know it exists, how on earth do you ever fix it? This is why the cornerstone to all of our programs is a thorough and comprehensive examination that includes, number one, a comprehensive consultation in history. I want to know when your back pain started or your neck pain. I want to know how it started. I want to know what accidents you had. I want to know what you do on a daily basis. I want to uh, review any past MRIs you have or CT scans, whatever the case may be. Number two, we always start with what we call a full spine nerve scan. Most of these conditions put pressure on the nerve. What on earth makes more sense than to discover what's happening with your nervous system itself? Number three, we almost always take what we call high frequency diagnostic digital x-rays, possibly even a motion study, which rarely is done to most people in, in their past endeavors. This is something that not only tells us what's actually happening at that moment, but what happens when your spine is actually moving and working. We'll certainly, number four, test your ranges of motion. Uh, number five, we'll definitely do a postural assessment, and that becomes very important 
because your body's going to compensate. It's been trying to make the best of a bad situation. If I don't discover how your body's actually changed and compensating, then again, how on earth do we ever correct that and bring that back? Uh, number six, we may possibly do what we call a gait analysis. So again, it, it all depends, it's specific to you. So a gait analysis, we're gonna actually measure the way you walk. If you're suffering with a spinal stenosis and you find it difficult to walk, wouldn't it be important to know how you walk? Number seven, we'll certainly be doing some orthopedic testing. Number eight, we will have you complete what we call disability indexes. So these are ways to scientifically measure your, what we call your activities of daily living, what you can do and what you can't do. And number nine, often missing in a lot of examinations, it's going to be hands-on. I have literally laid my hands on hundreds of thousands of spines over the past 30 years. I'm going to be able to feel and tell exactly what's actually happening with your spine. Now, once all of the actual underlying causes have been discovered, one of the most effective methods I've discovered and used to treat them is what we refer to as non-surgical robotic laser spinal decompression. Before I discuss all the details of non-surgical robotic laser spinal decompression, let me first break down and explain the two key components, spinal decompression and laser. So spinal decompression is, is actually very straightforward. It has been around for two or three decades now. It was actually invented by Dr. Alan Dyer, a PhD, an MD, uh, actually a former Minister of Health for Ontario. Uh, so very much a Canadian thing. What a lot of people don't realize is there's a huge difference between spinal decompression and basic traction or, or basic inversion tables. Anyone who tells you differently, unfortunately, is not an expert in the subject. Traction, uh, inversion tables, they can be beneficial. I have an inversion table in my own gym, in my own basement, uh, and I love it, but it's going to be doing more of a stretching effect. We're not looking simply to stretch a vertebrae. Can those have some benefit? Absolutely, otherwise I wouldn't have an inversion table in my own gym. It's not the same as spinal decompression. That's what Dr. Dyer found, is in spinal decompression, what we're getting is we're literally creating a vacuum effect in the disc. So that vacuum effect is going to draw fluids and nutrients into the disc. It's gonna rehydrate the disc. It even allows disc herniations to recede back into the disc as well. Doesn't it make sense that if you have disc herniations, disc bulges, uh, degenerative disc disease, uh, spinal stenosis, spondylolisthesis, and all those things are putting pressure on the nerve, let's take pressure off the nerve. Okay? That's why spinal decompression is so beneficial. It's going to help with all of those things. Now, class four laser, and not just any type of laser, but class four laser is the highest level of laser that's approved by Health Canada uh, here in Canada and also by the FDA in the US. And what class four laser does, it does a number of things, but really two main things. One of the problems with standard spinal decompression is if you were to try to separate that, the body's going to resist. If you've had a condition for 20, 30 years, your body's not gonna like that you're starting to pull that apart. It's going to resist. Number two, often it's just gonna go back to where it started. So that's why a lot of standard spinal decompression still didn't work. And so you had a number of really good doctors who said, well, why are we not getting the results that we want just through standard spinal decompression? That's where class four laser comes in. So what a class four laser does, as I said, highest level of laser approved by Health Canada and the FDA, and it's gonna do two main things. Number one, it's going to ease up all those muscles so that when we do spinal decompression, it doesn't resist. We actually achieve true spinal decompression. And number two, class four laser has the ability to actually go in and heal the cells and the tissues and the nerves, the damaged areas. It's gonna bring more blood flow to the area. Um, guess what? People who, who are living with these disc herniations and spinal anesthesis and degenerative disc disease and spinal stenosis have done damage in there. Why on earth would we not have something that's going to help uh, to, to fix that damage as well? So here's the thing. If you're not getting both of these combined forms of care for your condition, it could be the very reason why you're not recovering fully or anywhere near as quickly. So both in themselves have been proven treatment methods but you combine the two of them for chronic spinal conditions and the results are remarkable. Okay? And that's the nice thing, is that's exactly what we do in our non-surgical robotic laser spinal decompression. We're getting maximum healing, we're getting a quicker recovery with the combination of both the class four laser and the spinal decompression. 
That's what makes the system so unique. That's why there's only 12 of them in the world. We have the only one in Ottawa. Uh, it's patented. It's the reason why there's a robotic laser as well. We want no user error whatsoever. If it was manual laser, well then are you putting too much laser in one area and not enough in the other? By setting a robotic pattern, we're leaving nothing to chance. So to date, we have provided thousands of treatments to the people of Ottawa and the surrounding areas. But let me tell you three quick stories. So first, there's a story of Jim. Jim, 64-year-old man, living with chronic back pain for 30 years. Claimed to have tried everything before coming to us. So certainly, his medical doctor, a number of different pills, uh, his surgical consults, um, chiropractic care, physiotherapy, massage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He was on Percocet for 30 years. I understand what that Percocet is doing to his system. He came in, uh, went through a comprehensive exam, went through our program, and then Jim, halfway through our program, gets crushed between a dump truck and a guardrail on the highway here in Ottawa, the 417. Now, we don't wish that upon anyone, obviously, but we know how to deal with those injuries and those accidents. Jim, for the first time ever, is now back off his Percocet in back to a normal life. Big bodybuilder, uh, big into trying to stay healthy and so forth. Obviously, he simply couldn't do that with the chronic back pain and leg pain that he was living with every day. Okay? Number two, let me tell you, patient number two is Jeremy. As opposed to being 64 years old, Jeremy is a 29-year-old man. And Jeremy, unfortunately, had also been living with chronic back pain for the longest time. A lot of what we call antalgic uh, posture. So an antalgic posture is your body literally making you crooked. And, and the reason it's pulling you off to one side is it's literally trying to pull you off the nerve. And so this becomes huge because a lot of people then, what they do is because they just focus on the symptoms, they think, well, I'm gonna try and get back straight again. Don't try to defeat your body's own self-defense mechanism. There's a reason he was always in those antalgic postures. Luckily had a very understanding employer where he could continue to work, but it wasn't easy for Jeremy at all. Jeremy had lived with us for so long that he was seriously contemplating, in Jeremy's case, Jim, it was mostly disc herniation and degenerative disc disease combination for Jeremy, at the ripe old age of 29, definitely disc herniation, but also a, a severe spinal stenosis as well. So that's when the canal actually starts to enclose and put pressure more in the spinal cord as well. That's why it was so serious. And for, for Jeremy, so serious that he was actually uh, had made arrangements to go and get surgery done in Germany where they're going to charge him $65,000 for the surgery and three months later he would still maybe be able to drive a car. Now the thing with Jeremy is not in the small print but in the big print in Germany they strongly recommended that Jeremy go and donate to a sperm bank before his surgery. Now, if some of this is new to you, you're thinking, well, why a sperm bank for surgery? Well, understand those nerves that exit the lower back, they don't just come down the leg, they go to the bowel, to the bladder. If those become affected or you, you lose control of those, that becomes emergency surgery. They also go to the reproductive organs. So in Jeremy's case, the so-called successful surgery that he was contemplating, like assuming it would be successful, still had a two to four percent chance that it would actually disrupt that nerve so much that he would never be able to father a child again. So understand two to four percent, not two in a million or four in a million, out of every hundred surgeries they do with what they would consider a successful surgery, you still may not ever be able to father a child again. I'm happy to say Jeremy also in one of, uh, one of our comprehensive programs, guess what? Jeremy did not go to Germany, has no need to go to Germany. Jeremy is back, working regularly again. His life is back to the way uh, you know it should be and so forth. Okay? Case study number three that I want to tell you about is Thea. Thea is a 64-year-old woman. She was suffering with a severe, what we call spondylolisthesis. And the word spondylolisthesis literally means that the vertebrae have shifted forward or backwards. So if it's forward, that's what we call an anterior lysthesis. If it's backwards, we call it a retrolysthesis. Uh, also had uh, some degenerative disc disease as well. Uh, and again, you never have just the one thing. You usually have a multitude of different things. It's usually three, four, five different things. 
Taya was told that there was no cure for a retroesthesis. She was told nothing could ever fix that. Thea went on one of our programs. Uh, she has now seen her pre-x-rays during her initial consultation and exam with us. She's now seen her post-x-rays and she can literally tell you as she's seen the difference where that spondylolisthesis, that retroesthesis has come back to completely normal. When you move that vertebrae back, you're taking that pressure off the nerve, you're taking that pressure off the spinal cord, you're restoring normal function back again, Thea is back to doing the things that she wants to do. She is super thrilled that she's come in here and done that. All of this is possible, whether it's disc herniation, disc bulges, spinal listhesis, whether retro listhesis or anterior listhesis, spinal stenosis, degenerative disc disease or osteoarthritis or a combination of all those things. Don't let anyone tell you differently. We are fixing these things all the time and we have proof pre and post x-ray, pre and post nerve scan as well. Now, I hope you found value today in learning all about non-surgical robotic laser spinal decompression. Now I wanna hear from you. What treatment have you tried for your spinal condition? Were all of the underlying causes actually identified? What has worked for you? What hasn't worked for you? Tell me in the comments below. If you found value in this video, please go ahead and link it and share it now so that more people can discover what non-surgical robotic laser spinal decompression is all about. There are people suffering out there from conditions needlessly when there is a solution and you can help us to help them. Be sure to subscribe if you want more tips and strategies on how to treat and relieve debilitating back and neck pain without drugs or surgery. And please go watch the next video to learn my seven step non-surgical treatment for lumbar spinal stenosis. This seven step treatment is applicable to many other conditions we treat like disc bulge, disc herniation, spinal anesthesis, scoliosis, back pain, leg pain. Please watch this video next right now.